61 of the Take It Easy Tour. Take and guess where we are? We're at Gettysburg National Memorial, Battlefield, the Battlefield Memorial. And this is a, uh, this is a, a car tour, I guess you could say. The, the battlefield is everywhere in Gettysburg. And uh, you just get in your car or whatever and you take this tour around Gettysburg. And so that's what we're doing. Now listen, I'm a southerner, but and and you know I'm I'm not not a racist and you know and I understand the causes of the Civil War versus state rights versus slavery and all that stuff. I have my own opinions about the Civil War, but this is history, you know, good, bad, ugly, beautiful, whatever. You know, you go to to appreciate history for what it is. And that's to teach you. Now you got people that are taking Civil War monuments down as remembrances of the Civil War and they're trying to revise history. I don't think history should be revised. I think history should be told and learned from. So that's why I'm here. Uh, this is a piece of history. This is what defined us as a nation in 1865. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, ride this thing, see if I can glean or learn any other information out of it, and then we'll uh, we'll discuss it later. All right, Donkey Dave out. Okay, guys, this is where the, the uh, battle at Gettysburg actually started. The Confederates were in these fields, right these these woods right here, and they attacked uh, some Union uh, um, cavalry guys that were apparently right over there. And that building that uh, with the white thing there, there it's on the side, that is an original building that was here during the battle at Gettysburg. Uh, that's called uh, Somebody's Barn. And it was a focal point of the battle right here. And apparently there was a general, a Union general that was killed like right over there. Uh, he got shot in the head and he just dropped right off of his horse. Uh, but this is where it started right here. And I don't know all the other logistics of it, but we're going to find that out. But uh, they got some cannons here and they got all kinds of markers and everything here. It's, it's really neat. I mean, it's neat that they have these fields here and uh, and then the, the picket or the, the, or the, the and the fences here. That's that's really neat to see. All right, we'll carry on. All right, guys, this is the area that's known as Pickett's Charge. And what happened was the, the South, the Confederacy, had this ridge right here, and it was all lined with artillery and everything. And back behind them was 12,000 soldiers in the, uh, in the uh, infantry. And then you have this fishbowl right here, and then over there on that high ridge over there, that's where the Union was and the Union they were well encamped as well and so what happened was General Longstreet who was General Lee's second-in-command wanted to set up a defensive position right here and the Union would have to come in to get them but what happened was Lee was impatient or something was going on through his mind he wanted to win the battle so what he did is he ordered his cannon fire to go and then he ordered his 12,000 men to go into this fishbowl right here to try to assault the the uh, northern uh, army over there and it was it was a turkey shoot the uh, the southern armies and the southern men got shot down. They had 12,000 men. I don't know how many came out of it, but it was it was horrible. It was a horrible, horrible loss. And uh, this battle right here is what determined uh, the war. And uh, I was talking to another person who was a guide, and they were talking about uh, Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall Jackson was a great... Um, uh, 
commander and he got killed at another battle and uh, if he were here the the whole war might have been different and if Lee had listened to uh, General Longstreet the whole war might have been different as well but you know coulda woulda shoulda that didn't happen and Lee lost this battle I just as a North Carolinian I understand that one out of four North Carolinians that were in this in this uh, battle were killed, and it, it's just it, it's just gut wrenching to think about this. That that's what happened to to these men. You know what was Lee thinking to send them into a turkey shoot like that? I, I just can't get my head around that. It's just it's just fucking saddening and maddening as as well. But you know we're here to study history. We're not here to you know really question it, question it. But Lee had his own mind. He had his own way of thinking on things. You know, and he was a great general. He really was. But you know he he screwed up on this one. So. The old saying is, if you don't study history, you're bound to repeat it. And uh, this was definitely a battle that has been studied for generations, and uh, for good reason. All right, Duncan Dave out. Well, folks, that's going to do it for Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and the battlefield of Gettysburg. But if I can throw in a couple of thoughts I'm about it, it's just a damn shame that we had to go through that, but the Civil War was a defining event for the United States. It kind of, the first hundred years or so, you know, that was us growing. And then the second hundred years with uh, Gettysburg and the Civil War, that defined us as a country and where we were going to be in the next hundred years. And we're kind of coming to the precipice of another um, another time in our country where you know we're we're getting pretty close to a civil war ourselves with the way that the uh, political parties and the special interest groups and the media and everybody else is kind of playing everybody off on each other and if we're not careful we're gonna fall into that trap and there's going to be some violence. There might be bloodshed. You know, there, people might die as a result. And that's a shame. You know, we, we live in this uh, society now where words are thought to actually uh, cause people physical harm. <laughs> Which is not the case. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names can never hurt me. You know, all that, all that stuff. You know, people need to get a grip about what's being said and everything. Because when you have a society where you are not free to speak your mind and you're, you live in danger of being physically harmed because of that, then you're not living in a free society. And we need to be very careful about that. I love political debate. Um, I love debate, period, but political debate is, is fun. And it, it allows you to sharpen your debating skills and your, and, your, and your thought process if you do debate somebody. It's a simple fact. So uh, I'll never apologize for, for being a master debater. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, you got to be able to you got to be able to speak your mind and you got to be able to back up what you speak with facts it can't be just just rhetoric um, mindless rhetoric so um, you know I guess what I'm saying is that uh, we just need to kind of we need to get a grip and be more civil to each other and not get into uh, physical violence as a result of our political leanings so that's all I got to say about that. But Gettysburg was nice. I mean, there's there's so much stuff there that you know you can't you can't keep track of it properly. So it was just a shame that so many people died as a result of that. And um, 
it's just a shame. I wish that the Civil War had never happened. I wish slavery had never happened. But that's the way it is. And we cannot destroy our history, folks. We, we just can't do that. You got to study your history. You got to remember your history. You got to learn from your history. Learn from it, not tear it down, not rewrite it. Gosh, all this stuff going on is it's just wrong. It's just wrong. So that's it for Gettysburg um, in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Duncan Dave out.